What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Matt Shouts. I am your host, Matt Crown, on Matt and A. Now, what is Matt Shouts? Well, it was something I've been posting around on Facebook or anything, and it was going to be about hidden animes and mangas. Well, not hidden, but underappreciated or unnoticed. Like I was saying before, there are thousands of animes and mangas that are actually good, and uh, just beautiful stories and amazing characters. But sadly, they're under the radar. No one talks about them. Nobody even knows about them because they're not mainstream. But that's why I create this show to inform you about these things. Probably you'll be interested. Probably you won't. It's all good. That's all why we're here. So we can learn more about anime and manga. Today's manga I'm going to be telling you about is actually a very interesting one. And the shame about this one is it actually came from Shonen Jump itself. It actually is doing well inside the rankings as well. So why do not much people know about it? Well, let's get into it. Today's manga I'm talking about is Assassination Classroom. This one's pretty interesting, people. Say what if you had yourself the best teacher in the world, the best sensei. This guy will go to the ends of the earth to help you with your lesson, teach you in academics, sports, cooking, whatever it is you're having a problem with, he will help you in it as his duty as a sensei. Howard is sensei is not a normal sensei. He is not human. He's actually an alien creature who actually goes the speed of Mark 20. Meaning he'd be here in Japan and fly over to America to watch a ball game in a matter of seconds. So he's pretty fast. So everything's going good, but however, what if I had to say at the end of school year, by the end of school year, you have to kill him. That's right, you have to kill him before the school year ends. In Assassination Classroom, your sensei plans to destroy the world after graduation. What? Why? I do not know that yet, but I am bugging and itching to find out why. This teacher is almost to perfection in everything he does and says and thinks. And he's giving, for some reason, has decided to become a teacher before he destroys the world. He's giving E class, also known as N class, a chance to kill him by the end of the year. So these characters are trying everything they can to kill him. However, he is too fast, clever, and plus you can't use normal weapons on this guy. In fact, you have to use a certain special kind of weapon to kill him with because for some reason his any other kind of weapon will just turn to acid like, by the time he even touches his skin. Anyways, this is actually a very funny gag manga. It starts off hilarious. There are a variety of characters within the classroom and you will get to know most of the characters inside of the manga so far. Later on you'll learn the others. Anyways, that's not just the only part about this manga I love. The other part about the manga is the dark side, besides him trying to destroy the world, but the other people. You see, the main characters are actually in a thing called E-Class, meaning by N-Class. They are the bottom of the barrel. People discriminate these people. And why mean by discrimination? Not by race, not by religion, but by rank. It points out the views of true things that are actually happening in Japan right now. It actually talks about discrimination of rank. For instance, they're not doing good in school. Instead of being the tough guy that tells everybody what to do, it's actually the skinny, wimpy, ugly nerd is actually the one with all the power inside of school. And these guys are just pure out hateful and just spiteful to these kids throughout the whole entire series. That anything they do, they'll get away with it because they're on above class. This is definitely a must read manga all the way people. Knowing that other characters I love, my most favorite character in this manga would have to be Arwen Sensei. And her name, they kids call her Bitch Sensei. <laughs> That's right, they call her freaking Bitch Sensei. Because she's pretty much of a girl that gets around. And she's just totally a freaking Horn dog, man. She uses her sexual charm to do assassinations because she's actually a pro hitman. She uses her seductions to kill people. She decides to join a class and everyone's that she's so stuck with herself, everyone decides to call her bitch and say she really makes up a comedy within the show. And plus there are other characters that I'm not really that into to. The Sensei himself is hilarious. He shows great morals and meaning. And actually says how as an assassination attempt can actually help you in life. <laughs> he keeps saying, he keeps talking about assassination over and over again, saying how interesting it is, and saying how 
how you have to be very smart and knowledgeable to become an assassin in the first place, which is true. You have to learn different languages, you must learn your math, you must learn to predict people's movements, read how people do in nature and stuff like that. So yes, this is a definitely a must read. This is a good, good manga series. There's a link to it below so you can read it. This is a must read, people. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Mad Shouts. What other anime or manga you think that is not that knowledgeable, that you think people will be interested in reading, I would love to know so I can talk about it. So I would love to get the word out there of different animes and manga so we can spread our point of view on anime and manga. It's tired of the One Piece and the Bleach and the Naruto and stuff. We need to move on to other animes out there that are actually good. They don't have to be ongoing, they just have to be good and that's it. So. Tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you could. I'll be much obliged. As always, people, this is Macron Madame. Signing out.